I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an example of counting using principle of inclusion and exclusion. The question here is a standard deck of 52 cards with four suits, hearts, spades, diamonds and clubs has 13 number of spades and 12 face cards. How many spades and face cards are in the deck of cards? Now here is the deck of the cards with spade cards. These are 13 A's which could be considered as 1, 1 to 10 and these are the face cards Jack, Queen and King. So 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 number of spades and 12 face cards. So 3 of each, 3 of clubs, 3 of hearts, 3 of diamonds and 3 of spades makes it 12. Now the question is how many spades and face cards are in the deck of cards? That's the question for you. Now if you look at it, we are given you numbers that number of spades cards is equal to 13, number of face cards is equal to 12. Now if you add them, what do you get? You get 25. Are these 25 with you? Not at all. They are 3 less than 25. The reason being that these face cards have been counted in 13 and also in 12. Actually it is only 9. Do you see that? 9 plus 3. Since they have been counted twice, that means they have been included twice we need to exclude them and so we take away 3 to get the right number which of course is 22. So you can count these cards they are 22 in number. So that gives you the principle of inclusion and exclusion right. You can visualize it. It's a very good example. Take your time to understand. Right. So how do we find it? We add the numbers of spade cards with the number of face cards and we take away those which are common in both. So face cards of spades, jack, queen and king are common to both. They should be subtracted or excluded to give us the real number, the actual count which is 22 right so i hope the concept is very clear to you so let me wind this up and write down the statement for you which is also a formula which we can always use to count properly when we have events which are not mutually exclusive right so what we are doing here is we are counting number of spade cards or when we say or union that is face cards let it be f right so that is equals to number of spade cards plus number of face cards take away number of those which are common to both that is intersection of spades and face so in our case number of spade cards is 13 plus 12 face cards 4 times 3 minus the 3 which were common right and that gives you 22 so this is one way of doing it the other way is we could draw a Venn diagram right so let me make a Venn diagram let's say this is for the spades and this is for the face cards correct so what we know here is that there are three common so we'll write three common here this is for spades, this is for face cards. Now spades is 13, 3 are common, 10 left. Face cards are 12, 3 are common, 9 left. Right? So if you count all of them, you get your number. 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 10 is 22. So a Venn diagram can also help you to visualize and get this solution. 
I'm Anil Kumar and I hope with this principle of inclusion and exclusion is absolutely clear, right? In case you have any questions, feel free to post. You can always share my videos, subscribe to them and if you like, put some likes. Thank you and all the best.